guys, this is Ruff Greenwood, and this is another episode of The Car Barn. Well, you know, I'm sure you remember this from our last episode. Okay. Our Frisco car that I got real dark, and I had to take off the weathering powder with paint thinner. Okay. Now, I want to recap just a little bit on this and make sure everybody understands what happened okay what I did was I first used this this is water washable it's like a dull coat that's water washable it's model masters acryl number 4636 water washable I'll put that on first and I did some light weathering then I sealed that with this, this is Tessers Dull Coat. Then I put black soot all over everything. The reason why I had to use paint thinner to take that black soot back off was because this Dull Coat is not water washable. Also, when I put the black soot on, this dual coat was still in a tacky state. I did not give it long enough to dry. I should have just sprayed it and left it alone and maybe come back the next day or done it the day before. So I'm just letting you guys know, if you use stuff like this, this, you know, and you don't want to have to use paint thinner or solvents, Bragdon powders, the powder, all the weathering powders that I use are water washable, but if you put them over a medium such as this that is not water washable and it's tacky, it will, it will draw them in and you will have to use paint thinner to get them off. Okay, I want to make sure everybody understands that. Um, you know, if you're more worried about your, your equipment, you know, and you use acrylic paints anyway or, you know, try the acrylic, acrylic one, it will come off with water. I use a little bit of water, you know. The, the key point is with weathering is, is to go lightly, you know, put a little bit on, just go a little bit, and then step back, walk away from it, take a look at it, you know, is that what I want? Or do I want more than that? You know, okay. All right, now, with this tonight, with this, we are, I am, I'm going to just put a few light touches on this and then I am going to, I'm going to weather the trucks and we're going to get this back on the track. Well, let's get started guys. Okay. I'm going to put some black soot. I've just got a few areas where I want to put it on. I've got my, I've got this brush here, this large brush. And I've got a small finishing brush here. And I've got a cosmetic wedge. Find them in the makeup department. I'm going to try this. I've seen guys use them on YouTube. I've got a little bit of my black soot here. A little bit around those doors. Okay. I'm going to brush down. Do that. Okay. Okay. Come here on the other side and finish. I want to have some rust on the top. Just in a few places. Maybe have it coming down the side a little bit.
that and maybe I get just a little bit darker in some spots up here towards the top like that and I'm going to just finish there you go now we're going to work on trucks okay now this other this other the other truck I've already done but this is a brass wire brush it's not real stiff I could run my finger across it pretty easy it's not very thick wire it's kind of soft and I am just going to draw across it is knocking a little bit of the uh, knocking a little bit of the shine down Hope you guys can see the difference there. It, it did take some gloss off of that. Okay, there's that. Now we've got those deglossed. I'm going to use a dark rust. I'm trying not to get any of this powder in the axle in the axle holes. You do not want it in there. It will dry. It has an adhesive. And it will make it to where your wheels don't roll good. So I'm going very lightly here. We can always put some more on. That looks like a good, that looks like a good start. Okay, all right. Okay guys, here it is. Now you'll notice the wheels, I didn't really detail the wheels a whole lot. That is because these are the plastic microtrains wheels which I am going to switch out and I'm going to put Fox Valley metal wheels on. I just haven't ordered them yet. Um, and really I don't like to use the powders too much on the wheels because it's kind of hard to keep that stuff out of the axles, the axle recesses where your, the ends of your axles go in and you, you don't want that powder getting in there. give you a view of the top there you can see where there's a little bit of rust but uh, that's it I uh, hope you guys enjoy and remember when it comes to weathering go lightly use your what if you can if you use the Bragdon weathering powders go a little bit light go light at first just put it on take a look at it see if that's what you want and if you use a matte medium, make sure you let it dry all the way first before you put powders on. This is Ralph Greenwood. See you guys later. Have a great day. Bye.